What we're going to do in this video is practice squaring binomials. And this is something that we've done in the past, but we're going to do it with slightly more involved expressions. But let's just start with a little bit of review. If I were to ask you what is a plus b squared, what would that be? Pause the video and try to figure it out. Well, some of you might immediately know what a binomial like this squared is, but I'll work it out. So this is the same thing as a plus b times a plus b. And then we could multiply this a times that a. So that's going to give us a squared. And then I could multiply that a times that b, and that's going to give us a b. Then I could multiply this b times that a. I could write that as b a or a b, so I'll just write it as a b again. And then I multiply this b times that b, so plus b squared. And what I really just did is apply the distributive property twice. We go in, into a lot of detail in previous videos. Some people also like to call it the FOIL method. Either way, this should all be a review. If it's not, I encourage you to look at those introductory videos. But this is going to simplify to a squared plus, we have an AB and another AB, so you add those together, you get two AB plus B squared. Now why did I go through this review? Well now we can use this idea that a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared to tackle things that at least look a little bit more involved. So if I were to ask you what is 5x to the sixth plus 4 squared, pause this video and try to figure it out and try to keep this and this in mind. Well there's several ways you could approach this. You could just expand this out the way we just did, or you could recognize this pattern that we just established. That if I have an a plus b and i squared, it's going to be this. And so what you might notice is, the role of a is being played by 5x to the sixth right over there, and the role of b is being played by four right over there. So we could say, hey, this is going to be equal to a squared, we have our a squared there, so what is a squared? Well, 5x to the sixth squared is going to be 25x to the twelfth power. And then it's going to be plus two times a times b. So plus two times 5x to the sixth times four. Actually, let me just write it out just so we don't confuse ourselves. Two times 5x to the, I'll color code it too. Two times 5x to the sixth times four times four, plus b squared, so plus four squared, so that's going to be plus 16. And then we can simplify this, so this is going to be equal to 25, x to the 12th, two times five times four is 40, two times five is 10, times four is 40, so plus 40, x to the sixth, plus 16. Let's do another example, and I'll do this one even a little bit faster, just because we're getting, I think, pretty good at this. So let's say we're trying to determine what 3t squared minus 7t to the sixth power squared is. Pause the video and try to figure it out. All right, we're going to do it together now. So this is our a, and our b now we should view as negative 7t to the sixth, because this says plus b, so you could view this as plus negative 7t to the sixth. We could even write that if we want. We could write this plus negative 7t to the sixth if it helps us recognize this whole thing as b. So this is going to be equal to a squared, which is 9t to the fourth, plus two times this times this, two times a times b. So two times three t squared is going to be six t squared times negative 7t to the sixth, actually let me write this out, this is getting a little bit complicated. So this is going to be plus two times 3t squared times negative 7t to the sixth power. And then last but not least, we're going to square negative 7t to the sixth. So that's going to be negative seven squared is positive 49, and t to the sixth squared is t to the twelfth t to the twelfth power. And so this is going to be equal to nine t to the fourth. And let's see, two times three is six, times negative seven is negative 42. And t squared times t to the sixth, we add the exponents, we have the same base, so it's going to be t to the eighth. And then we have plus 49 t to the twelfth power. 
So it looks like we did something really fancy. We have this higher degree polynomial. We were squaring this binomial that has these higher degree terms. But we're really just applying the same idea that we learned many, many, many videos ago, many, many lessons ago in terms of just squaring binomials.